Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Priyanka Kumar. I'm your psychic reader. I'm in an excellent mood for a reading today and I hope this reading will turn out its best for you and for me as well. Thank you so much for being on my channel and uh, I hope that whatever answers that you're seeking comes through to uh, you through me and um, this is going to be a good one. And uh, so today's uh, reading is going to be where is this relationship headed towards? So a lot of you may be in confusing relationships which um, you are not aware of where it is headed towards if it's just a simple crush and it is just going to uh, be a temporary one or is this something permanent and will it move into a committed relationships or where is this actually headed towards. So this may be any kind of relationship that you are in with anybody and um, uh, so we'll see where this is headed towards. And I'm sure that you know how pick up pile reading works. So today we have three different piles. Pile number one being the yellow color star. Pile number two being the blue color star. And pile number three be being the red color star. So we have three different piles here. Uh, please ensure that when you take a reading, you're in the best state of mind. A lot of people comment saying the reading did not resonate and I must improve on my reading. Thank you so much for that feedback but um, I suggest that when you're not in your best state of mind you receive uh, you're not open to receiving answers so most often when we uh, get any kind of messages from anywhere universe is trying to guide you through them universe is trying to give you messages to you through them but uh, you must know what is that that you desire and it must resonate with you if it doesn't resonate it just means that you're not open to receiving answers uh, and um, you must be more conscious of your uh, energies and be aware, all right? I hope that this reading will give you the answer that you are seeking for. And um, so let's begin with the reading. Also, if you're looking for personal reading, you can connect with me on my WhatsApp or on my Instagram, and I'll be more than happy to help you in your personal readings. All right, so let's just begin with the reading. Welcome to pile number one, the yellow color star. Let's take a look at your situation. First, we'll see just the brief of the situation so that then we can see where is this relationship headed towards. All right. Let's see what is the brief of your current situation. Four of Swords, the High Priestess and the Moon. Okay, we have one more. I wanted to pick three cards nevertheless okay so currently what I see in the situation is that um, this relationship has not reached its highest potential as of yet okay there is a lot of potential to it and um, maybe uh, there is something going on behind the scenes but uh, there is still a lot of thinking dreaming and your intuition working in place okay it's not practical as of yet so i see that this relationship may not be happening in the reality but it's uh, it's in the dreaming stage it's in the thinking stage of what should happen next okay uh, but with the four of wands which was actually hidden in between these cards and it is actually a very um a positive card okay so i see that this person may be dreaming about the marriage or a celebration in your family okay or uh, some some sort of a celebration definitely and since you're talking about relationships here without a doubt it's the it's that this person wants to uh, manifest this marriage uh, into a reality one and um, uh, with everybody including the family is what is happening in the um, in the scenario okay um let's now see what is uh, the uh, I'm sorry <laughs> I got lost in thoughts I don't know why um, I also feel this pile is um, this pile is not ready to listen to answers or they don't want to know okay uh, there is something that is bothering and um, I don't know. I, I somehow feel that. Let's see where is this relationship headed towards. Okay. Where is this relationship headed towards? I want to take this. Queen of Swords. The Ten of Swords. And the Ace of Cups. 
okay so what i see as the uh, possible outcome or where is this relationship headed towards is that uh, there may be strong oppositions in this connection and um, this relationship is headed towards a new beginning okay and uh, that is the let's check the deck energy is the three of uh, wands here uh, in reverse which is um, i don't do reversals but uh, i i feel that uh, there is going to be a new beginning with the two of you itself it's not a fresh beginning with somebody else um i see that there may be strong opposition from a feminine uh, energy or a female character in your scenario uh, they may be very strong in saying no this is not what is needed and they may they may be they will of course have the motherly instincts and they will try to control the situation they will want to take everything in their hands and they will want your person also to behave exactly the way that they are dictating them to be okay so that is what i see is the situation however this person may feel extremely stuck at that point it may feel like everything has come to an end and they may not be able to even the situation would look like this is the end of everything okay but no no matter what this person is not going to give up on you they will realize how much you mean to them and they will get out of this situation and this may be a painful ending for them but also a new beginning for them for your relationship okay uh, this is not something that they want to let go of this will let go of all the emotions all the negativity in the situation and um, see this is all the cards that are talking about the dreamy part of this whole connection this is all talking about the actions that they want to take and all the um, you know uh, possible uh, outcomes of the situation so i definitely see that um there is without this situation happening this person would go under a lot of loss okay they will feel that um there is too much of loss uh, and regret and pain that may happen to them okay without you being in their life so i i see that this person will actually get out of the situation they will be pushed to that extent okay they will be pushed to that extent they will be backstabbed and they will be um you know uh, uh, many things will happen but uh, there will be a situation that uh, even even after the strong decision made by this uh, female uh, even after the a uh, cold war that may happen or abusing of uh, words and circumstances many things may happen there may be bitter scenarios uh, which this person will feel a lot of pain but emotionally they will come out of it extremely stronger this person will realize uh, and consider you as a very big blessing okay this person sees that there uh, there is a new connection there between the two of you there is going to be a romantic relationship a lot of hope and many many positive outcomes okay and with the three of wands here and as the deck energy it's pretty much clear that this person will want to move in with you and they will make a high priority of uh, making a happy family uh, with you okay and whatever that the results that they that you are waiting for or whatever the results that um that is meant to happen will eventually happen and the effort that both of you put into this is going to get manifested however that will be the right direction but uh do not be scared or afraid of anything that may happen okay and with the ace of cups definitely it's a very big blessing and emotionally very stable connection and the bird is blessing you you know the universe is actually blessing you there is going to be overflow of uh love and uh, the beautiful emotions of love you know that is the that is what is um going to happen in your relationship this is where this the this relationship is headed towards a much more deeper level of emotional connection all right i will pick up one advice card for you in this situation let's see what is the advice card for you in this situation what is the advice card for you trust 
wow uh, you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition see uh, i think that your intuition is already telling you that uh, whatever is happening is for your highest good and you need to trust that inner voice that is telling you that yes this is going to happen it's just that uh, whatever uh, is happening um, you need to be more loving towards the situation and and you know um, your soul uh, has a deep sense of that intuition and it's telling you what is going to happen as well just trust that inner voice and um and trust that your manifestations will come to fruition okay it's just it's just that you need to give it a little more uh, energy that it requires and no matter what the painful situations may be or no matter what the other obstacles may be in your path but don't worry about that uh, see as humans it's it's natural for us to strive for something that we truly desire and it is natural for us to go through situations right so in this process i would say just trust your process trust the universe and you will see that all these challenges and obstacles that you're having will turn itself into opportunities for what is that that you are desiring okay just trust and no matter what just trust your intuition don't trust anything that is happening around okay i hope this reading helps and thank you so much for hearing me out today and i will see you again in the next reading take care and have a good day bye bye welcome to uh, pile number two for those who picked the blue color star first we'll see a little brief of your situation and then we'll see where is this connection headed towards okay let's see what is your situation in the present scenario what is the present situation look like for pile number two the blue color star we have the fool the five of wands and temperance all right okay so the present scenario to me looks like um there is a kind of balance but there are too many people involved in this connection okay i see that uh, there may be a situation which is out of your hand and um it is kind of a difficult one and this is something that is karmic that cannot be changed and you are meant to go through this situation for a very higher purpose i see that there is a lot of um uh, the the current scenario to you is that um uh, there is nothing that you want to listen to other people. I said that you've already been involved with a lot of people in this situation, but you don't want to involve yourself and you want to make the situation in your hands. There may be conflict, there may be firing up of things and there is this um, dynamic energy that is running around the, the situation currently and it may be very, very challenging. But that challenging situation is making you ambitious. It's making you... It's making you want to achieve your dreams and goals it's making you want to live the life the way that you want and you are mentally prepared for the adventure that you have to deal with this i see that uh with this kind of energy the universe is completely ready and prepared to even support you it is like how they say you know when you really want something to happen and you ask the universe giving your 100 percent effort the universe will just conspire to make it happen right so it is that situation where you are totally conspired to make this happen and the universe is towards uh, your side to just make this happen for you okay so even the flaring up of energies of other people is not actually bothering you because i see that you are matured enough to uh, and you are spiritually strong you know you are um, spiritually strong and you are accepting everything the way that it is coming to you and you just want a harmony and patience and peace and everything in the situation so i see that you are being extremely matured and handling the situation very well no matter uh, if there are clashes happening or not i see that you are balanced because your spiritual path and your meditation journey has uh, brought you to that space where you are confident about yourself okay that's wonderful to know so now let's so if this uh, situation your current scenario resonates most likely that the relationship where it is headed towards will also resonate with you uh, oh i'm sorry i wanted to pick from a different deck let's see what 
where is this relationship headed towards where is this relationship headed towards we have the queen of swords the ace of cups and the page of swords okay uh, i don't know if you were attracted to pile number one but uh, uh, kind of a similar reading i don't want to say that but, but if you were also attracted to pile number one the yellow color star you can please check out that reading as well you may have some messages there also okay so the uh, where is this future relationship headed towards is that um uh there there will be a confusion there will be um see i'll tell you what um there is queen of swords there's page of swords uh no matter in what order they are all of the three cards are representing the future self right so i see that the energy may be young i see that there may be obstacles from other people but ace of cups is what you need to focus on because that's the most positive card so with ace of cups you will achieve the emotional stability and the blessing that you are desiring for okay and um, there will be obstacles from a female there will be obstacles from a feminine energy they may not want you to do this and there may be all sorts of things that could happen and it may be uh, it may look like a do or die situation which will cause you and your person in the situation to think twice if this is something that is meant for me so the actions and the um, thoughts may be in two different directions and this may feel like uh, do i really want this to happen and you may also feel that um uh you know you may start reasoning out everything and there may be a curiosity out of which you may think that uh, you know where is this headed towards but i see that um there is there is a lot of intelligence that is built in with this card okay and that is um uh, there is going to be very good communication okay the communication uh in such a way that this person want to expand their consciousness and there is a lot of uh youthness in this in this connection okay uh so there will be that young energy which will want to make you things see when we are young uh even consider uh, when we were in school and uh, college you know we were very young and dynamic to do anything that we desire right <coughs> kindly excuse me i'm so sorry about that so we were well prepared to do anything irrespective of what the situation's outcome is or what other people may think of us i see that energy coming back into your situation where both of you are not bothered about what the other situation is going to be or what uh, other people may think of you but you will want to achieve the ace of cups which is a new beginning which is a fresh start which is a very big blessing and emotionally connect with each other okay and everyone um uh, there is a there's another message here that uh, no matter how many people you come across in this situation just remember that everybody is meant to teach you a lesson they may not understand your childish nature they may not understand the amount of uh, connection that you are there and i see that um, you know uh, your your goals and dreams about this connection okay is going to get connected uh, very well and it is going to connect you to many things okay uh, so just be assured that um, it is going to work out for you and it is headed towards a very beautiful uh, a very beautiful new beginning is what i can uh, see in this uh, situation all right uh, let's just pick one uh, advice card for you in this situation let's see what is the advice for you let's see what is the advice for you in this situation what is the advice for you acceptance you are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life so that's a beautiful message so this is trying to tell you that just accept everything that that comes your way the minute you resist it uh, it may look like um you are trying to uh, uh you know uh, it it is it is going to become more difficult when you resist uh, there may be more challenges there may be more obstacles but when you just learn how to accept things the way that it is coming in your life 
you don't have to do anything you just have to simply accept it you don't have to say yes to it or no to it just accept it the way that it is and uh, don't try to control anybody or the situation either everybody has their own path and the way of dealing with things so just allow the natural process to work that way and be more loving okay be throughout your journey that is the most important thing just show love embrace love and be be the love yourself and you will naturally attract everything that is love around you okay and everything around you keeps moving and keeps changing but no matter what you should just accept everything that comes through you uh, and circumstances of course with these cards here circumstances might seem difficult i'm not saying it's going to be smooth but um you will definitely achieve what is that that you are desiring and uh, just naturally let it flow through you so that your soul can also grow in this process all right i hope this reading helped and thank you so much for hearing me out today and i will see you again in the next reading take care and have a good day bye bye hey guys welcome to pile number three the red color star let's take a look at what is the current scenario in your situation and in your relationship currently so that we'll be able to see where this is headed towards in a more profound way all right let's see what is the situation look like for pile number three we have the world the four of pentacles and the three of pentacles all right so your situation currently uh, involves money, involves uh, some materialistic desire, okay? And um, what's happening in your current scenario is that I see somebody's holding on to some ego, some, uh, some kind of self-respect and they are not willing to let go of it, okay? It may be a situation that may be related to property, I don't know why, but I see that this person may be very successful in their life in terms of materialistically, um, successful in terms of achieving whatever that they desire and uh, um, maybe their career path is doing very well and uh, that is something that they have truly worked hard for and maybe the relationship between you and the other person has something about letting go of that okay maybe they have to let go of certain things to make it happen or uh, they have to um uh, you know look for a different alternative so that is why this uh this success and everything that they have aimed i mean which they have earned for themselves is too much precious and um extremely valuable i can say uh, it's not just about the amount of money but the path that they have come to achieve what they have what they are currently involves uh, so much of uh, energy into it that they are not willing to give up okay and i see that um, there there may be miscommunication between you and your person and it is difficult to work things out because there's ego clashes you may come from different classes of society and they may not understand what you're trying to say or you may not understand what they are trying to put across and um somewhere both of you are not listening to each other the communication skill is not doing that very well okay so there is um uh, there is there is a um, there is chaos in this connection okay is what i see is the current uh, scenario of this relationship and uh, let's see what is the um where is this headed towards all right let's see where is this connection headed towards where is this connection headed towards we have temperance we have Queen of Swords and the Ace of Cups. It's very strange today that this is happening, but um, the Ace of Cups and Queen of Swords have repeated in almost all the readings. All the three piles it's repeated and uh, I swapped the deck so that this doesn't happen. But the future <laughs> outcome again is the same repetition, okay? just in case if you've been attracted to more than one pile the other two piles 
please go check out that as well because there may be some resonance to you and today's reading is kind of weird um weird in the sense um all the readings have been uh, moving towards a particular aspect of balancing the emotions and having a fresh start of emotions and uh, you know the beginning of a new uh, a new journey altogether so that is where this relationship is headed towards so for you as well you know it's the same thing that i see that uh, there is going to be harmony the clashes that you're having currently is temporary because these are temporary situations this is a major one so you will somewhere eventually give in and uh, give in to the situation and you will find a balance okay there is going to be the harmony in the situation and this relationship is headed towards something more meaningful but you have to be strong in your decisions okay you have to uh, wait in patience as well and you have to be extremely strong about what is that that you are seeking and i see that there is going to be uh, uh, the the romantic relationship that you are expecting with this person is going to be renewed so here it may be in this current scenario there may be no emotions involved which means that both of you may be thinking too extremely too practical and um uh, the emotions may not be uh, so deep or it may not be as exposed as it is actually in reality but in the uh, towards where this is headed there will definitely be a lot of emotions involved and uh, the um, there will be a sense of awakening that will happen for the both of you and there is going to be the feeling of oneness the feeling of bliss and um, there is going to be a lot of positive outcome of this situation okay this is the this is the time where you will have to be just open to receiving everything okay but you have to be the queen of swords uh, i see that uh, being strong in your decisions being strong in your actions will definitely help you become the ace of cups okay uh, you may have to think like a leader you may have to think in in terms of everybody in terms of everybody's well being and uh, make a decision that is unbiased which means that don't become selfish in the situation that only you want everything let everybody have everything it is possible it is definitely possible it may seem impossible at this moment but yes definitely it is and also be logical in in your uh, thought process and uh, be direct towards what you want do not uh, go beating around the bush of your situation you have to be very very practical and being very practical and logical will help you in this situation a lot and that is where this all is headed towards towards your personal growth towards the relationship having a fresh new beginning and many many more things that is going to uh, come up in this all right uh, i'll pick up one advice card for you in this situation let's see what is the advice for you in this situation what is the advice card for you in this situation okay willingness if you're able to compromise if the end result is love okay so i see that um you just have to be willing to all the possibilities that this situation can offer to you okay um compromise uh you are able to compromise if the end result is love it, it is just saying that if everything is going to be so loving and in and, and this is of course the card of love with emotions and everything ace of cups so it 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 defines the romantic relationship so i'm sure that you are the kind of person that uh, if you think that there is love in the situation there is all that that you truly uh, desire about you are going to be extremely willing and you will compromise for the sake of love so i see that you just have to be willing and accept everything that comes your way and um, i see that uh, also another message with this is that um, everything is going nothing is going to be permanent everything is has its own constant changes and we grow uh, uh, through that experience and we just 
uh, travel in that journey just to learn new things every day right so here uh, willing having the willingness to accept everything that is there around you uh, is a new lesson for you and only if you change your perception you will be able to transform yourself into something much more meaningful and you will experience a lot of spiritual growth through this journey okay just accept uh, everybody around you because uh, see also with the three of cups it may be true that in the current scenario there may be other people who are telling you what to do what not to do and their intervention may be there okay which probably you're not liking it because you and your partner have to deal with it but somewhere you have to accept that part of it as well so that is what this is this means you know maybe you're not liking it but it is good for your own spiritual growth See, the things that you don't like are the ones that actually teach you the lesson, the big lessons of life, if you notice and observe keenly. So it's uh, important that you become more willing. All right. I hope this reading helps. And thank you so much for hearing me out today. And I will see you again in the next reading. Take care and have a good day. Bye bye.